Hello, I have a new request. Well, tip from ten days ago, from again Soyogaki Goyakaki. Um, that was on my Opath Ghost of Perdition reaction introduction to death metal. Even though it's apparently not real death metal, and then I did another video, an introduction to actual death metal, uh, which was Morbid Angels Evil Spells. Um, but you also recommended. Um, Opeth's progressive extreme metal style was very much influenced by a 90s Norwegian black metal band Ulva, so I also recommend their song, and I have no idea how to pronounce this, so I got my Google Translate. Berg tatt in i fjellkamrene. And I still have no idea how to pronounce it. Berg tatt in i fjellkamrene. But I guess this first part is a name. And then the second part translates to in the mountain chambers or the mountain chambers. So that must be the name of the song and the name must be this guy. Berg tatt in i fjellkamrene. So, yeah, funny place, Norway, apparently. And uh, let's, well, first of all, I'll just read this. Ova is a Norwegian experimental electronica band founded in 1993 by vocalist Christopher Rigg. The early works such as debut album Berg Tat were categorized as folklore influenced black metal but the band has since evolved a fluid and increasingly eclectic musical style blending genres such as experimental rock, electronica, ambient, trip hop, symphonic and chamber traditions, noise, progressive and experimental music into their oeuvre 1997 marked their international debut with the release of their third album Natin's Madrigal, Madrigal through German label Century Music. However, following discord with the label, Rig formed his own imprint, Jester Records, in 1998. Now let's get to it. All of that sounds so foreign and unlike anything that I would listen to, so this is a long song as well. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Those are some fast rooms. Creepy voice. I like this style much better, much more peaceful. Oh no. 
I really don't like that voice much. Which is probably why I don't listen to this kind of music. But apart, if you took that voice out, it would be very, very nice. Oh no. I'm going to need a, a lyrical translation for this song, please. So if there's anyone watching out there, please let me know if it's uh, safe to let me know what this is about. It's no surprise that YouTube has captions off, of course. I don't think even... Uh, the YouTube AI can uh, detect what's going on here. It's not over. It's not over until the creepy voice growls or stops growling. Hmm. Why is there still another minute? What's going on? Oh, what's this? Sounds like another totally different song right now.
Well, I can picture Norway at the end there, uh, just because it had the sound of water. Anyway, I don't know what to say because it's also foreign to me, this genre, that I just never know what to say when I listen to this new crazy out there stuff. Um, you know, even in the Wikipedia I couldn't comprehend most of the genres that were listed there. Half of them I never heard of. Ursavura. I don't know what that means. But this is a nice painting. I'm guessing this is the album cover. Um, so Such a crazy and long and I can't even remember what I just heard. It's just too, too beyond my comprehension to be able to explain, you know. It's like, um, it's like, uh, if, um, a caveman were to see, I don't know, a, uh, a plane. I was thinking UFO first of all, but then I realised we don't have those yet. Or do we? But, if they saw a plane or a train or a, what else, I don't know, a computer. If you were to show them a computer, like I'm using now, how would they explain what they, you know, what it is? How would you even explain what it is? You'll have a better chance, but a caveman will have, like, no chance to explain it other than images. Um, so yeah, me, I have no idea what to say other than it was a very different kind of song. I would never listen to a, a song like this. I've never been exposed to songs like this or bands like this. Um, so to me, it was just like a lot of noise that I don't understand and have no idea how to dissect. But thank you for the request, whoever you are. I've already forgotten your name. If you have any more suggestions, let me know below. Um, this is totally new to me. I don't know if I've even reacted to a Norwegian band before. Uh, where were Nightwish from? I reacted to Nightwish. They, I think they might have been from Norway. I'm not, sh not sure. But let me know. Give me your thoughts and your comments. And your hopes and your dreams and your fears. Bye!